Good evening. Now, it was with all intentions that I had to make this look scary. But not scary like terrifying. This is supposed to be more of like a cutesy, but yet still really creepy for Halloween kind of sock monkey. And this one turned out to be cuter than the original one that I did before that was intended to be cute. Sock monkeys don't do what they're told. They do what they want. Regardless of intentions, now we're gonna have like little kids walking around as sock monkeys. People are gonna be like, oh my god, your kid's so cute. Oh, I learned it from Made You Look. She has the best tutorials. This is supposed to be scary. Regardless of intentions, I love the way it's turned out. I think it is really, really cute. And just in case any of you guys were expecting like a bloody sock monkey, let me know in the comments below if you guys do want me to do a little bit more of an actual scary sock monkey for Halloween. It can be done. I can do it. Don't forget to share. All the products I use today are listed somewhere around the video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to contact me. I'm starting off by using white eyeliner to sketch out just where my nose is going to go so I don't fill it in with paint. I'm also sketching out the whole of where the brain is gonna go. The colors I decided to use for this was lime green, orange, and purple. I wanna start the stripes using the lightest color, that way it's not a mess to mix in later. So I'm drawing in my green stripes and estimating how far apart two more stripes will be to fit. I'm then layering in the orange and the purple. Purple body paint is one of the most infuriating things to work with. So just be aware that you're gonna have to do a couple coats of purple because it's never really even. Using pink body paint, I'm filling in my brain. And of course, filling in my muzzle using white. To give it some dimension, I'm using gray eyeshadow and just outlining the mouth. Of course, keeping it nice and soft and blending it out. Using the Made You Look Detail Brush and Black Body Paint, I'm drawing in the stitches that separate the mouth from the nose. And just to make it a little more Halloween-y, I'm also including some cross stitches. The most time-consuming part, my friends. But actually, once you get used to it, it really goes very fast. All the stitches together took me about an hour. Using the same detail brush, which is pretty much the best brush to do this with because it's the right size, the right shape, and pretty much you just have to lay it down. On all the green sections, I'm first putting down darker green body paint. And you're gonna make this all on one angle in multiple rows with a space in between. Between. And then using a very light green going the opposite direction on the opposite side. And this, my friends, is how I figured out how to make knitting. My boyfriend called me to tell me that I'm beautiful. Little did he know, I was a sock monkey. For the purple sections, I used more of an orchid type color for the dark purple since the purple is already decently dark. And I created the diagonals going down in a row facing one way. Using a lighter purple, I finished out the rest of this stitching and doing diagonals facing the opposite way. For all of the orange sections, I used a dark orange body paint and created diagonals facing one way. I then went in using a very light orange and created diagonals going the other way, which is wrapping up the stitching for all the stripes. To define Le Brain, I'm using a hot pink eyeshadow and just going around the edges as well as creating that texture of the brain, but keeping it kind of cartoony and blending that out. To also make it appear a little more ripped, I'm using a darker green shadow to outline the edge of the green section and a red shadow to outline the orange section edge. And also a couple loose stitches from it being ripped open. Since this is a Halloween themed sock monkey, I thought it would be very cute to include a bat patch. Adorable. Using a detail brush, I'm outlining my bat and filling him in. I also use white body paint for his eyes and white stitches to sew him on. To create the holes in the sock monkey, I wanted to base it out in white just so it gives more of the appearance that Puffy is coming out of you. In like the brain section, I outlined this hole using purple eyeshadow and then orange eyeshadow. I also threw in a little bit of black just to give some depth in case it showed. Using a cotton pad, I applied some prosade and then just stuck on my stuffing. And if you use spirit gum, don't forget to tap the spirit gum to make it sticky. You guys can also put stuffing wherever you want. You can put it in your mouth to make it look like it's coming out of your mouth. Stick it up your nose. And then there's the bat. I was looking at the bat and I was like, this bat needs shading. So I shaded him. Using black body paint, I created a button eye on one of my eyes by closing my eye and making a circle, a filled in circle. On my other eye, I made an X. And I did this by creating two Vs. That way your lines would not get messed up with the eye crease. Ew, that sounds ugh. Eye opening eye, uh. Yeah, go ahead and apply some liner. I also used white liquid eyeliner to make the holes in the button. To make my ears, I just cut them out of paper, drew exactly where I wanted them to be, as well as lined up the colors and painted them. 
I also went ahead and painted my ears partially purple just in case they showed behind the ears. Once your ears are dry, apply some Prosade or Spirit Gum and then just stick your ears on. Beautiful. 